So I've seen this post from Peter going around a lot, and I thought I'd just comment on it because Peter are an organisation that are kind of amusing. And this is what happens when social justice gets into an animal rights organisation. Words matter, and as our understanding of social justice evolves, our language evolves along with it. Here's how to remove speciesism from your daily conversations. Instead of kill two birds with one stone, say feed two birds with one scone. Peter. Doesn't even fucking rhyme. And if anyone says scone, they're the first against the wall. Instead of saying be the guinea pig, say be the test tube. I don't see that one catching on. Instead of saying beating a dead horse, say feed a fed horse. Yeah, but what difference does it make if we beat a dead horse? We're not causing more suffering to the horse, are we? Instead of saying bringing home the bacon, say bring home the bagels. Oy vey. Instead of saying, saying take the bull by the horns, say take the flower by the thorns. That's just really gay, isn't it? Actually, that sounds like some sort of courtly romance. But, um, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that, Peter. I think I'll be saying what the fuck I like. Uh, you can keep your social justice concerns about speciesism and shove them up your ass. Because, frankly, I have no respect for Peter as an organisation, even before they started posting SJW bullshit. Because it turns out that when Peter quote-unquote rescue animals, they euthanise about 75% of them every year, if not more, in fact. So I have to wonder who exactly is benefiting here. For example, apparently Peter killed more than 1,800 cats and dogs in 2017, and only got 44 adopted. Seems a bit radical, doesn't it? A bit extreme. Apparently they've killed 38,000 animals since 1998. Is that really a, a good organisation? And if you ask Peter, they'll say, well, of course we euthanise, because I mean, look at this poor cat. That cat looks like it's suffering. I agree. That cat is suffering. That cat probably should be put down. For its own good. I completely agree, Peter. But why are the Centre for Consumer Freedom calling your shelters slaughterhouses? The director of research for the Centre of Confu Consumer Freedom told Fox News that he wants the public to know that Peter is two-faced when it presents itself as a defender of animals. Peter's disregard for the lives of animals is disgraceful. It would be better if Peter never even touched the animals. That way they might actually have a chance at life. Peter holds itself out as a saviour but is really just a grim reaper. Whew. Pretty damning condemnation of Peter there. Why are they euthanizing pets? Well, it would be lovely if we stopped this whole notion of pets altogether, according to Peter President Ingrid Newkirk, and I guess that explains why. Why would someone who thinks that having pets altogether is a bad thing want any of these animals to be adopted? Surely it'd be better if they were just euthanized as well. Otherwise they're going to be suffering a life of cruelty and oppression as the pet of some loving owner who will take care of them and feed them and treat them well. I mean, come on. We, we want to stop oppressing animals, don't we? I thought we were friends of animals here. Let's euthanize them all. And so when you take the attitude that no animal should be a pet... It's kind of justified if you lure away a little girl's chihuahua using dog treats so you can capture it from the street and claim it's a stray and then inject it with a lethal poison and kill it. Peter, of course, had to not only apologise, but pay the family $49,000 after they were successfully sued over murdering this chihuahua because it happens to have been someone's pet. Because this is ideological. This isn't about the actual suffering of the animal, the measurable, demonstrable suffering of the animal. This is about whether it would be, in principle, right or wrong to have pets. And Peter thinks that, in principle, it would be wrong to have pets. And so, the ends justify the means, and it's okay for them to lure their dogs away and euthanize them in the street. Just saying, that's actually something Peter are on record as having done. And apparently regularly do as they kill, what, 75% of all the animals that come into their clutches. All I'm saying is I think Cruella de Vil actually has a better <laughs> track record for treating animals than Peter, and Cruella de Vil is way less annoying than Peter. So, Peter, how about you stick your social justice up your ass and you stop killing our pets?